Thanks Keeps for sponsoring this video. These are what I like to call $1 steak. As you can see, sometimes you get lucky and you get nice marbling between them. I'm just joking. Because these steaks come from the cheapest roast there is. And I'm talking about the eye round. Me and this cut of meat are not friends. I've done so many experiments with it. And for good reason. You see, the problem with this cut right here is that it is very tough. However, it's also extremely flavorful. So my goal is always to get it as tender as possible. And I have done some crazy experiments with it. Make sure you check that out on the description down below later on. But once I remove all of the silver skin and cleaned it up, you can see I ended up with some beautiful steaks. That is perfect for today's experiment because we're gonna try to tenderize this with bacon soda. Now if that sounds weird for you, let me explain. Chinese restaurants all over the world have been using this technique for decades. If you ever had beef and broccoli, most likely you had bacon soda too. That's because they claim that it makes the steak a lot more tender. Well, today we're gonna put that to the test a hundred percent. And my goal by the end of this video is to really find out if baking soda is a true tenderizer for steaks. This is the baking soda tenderizing experiment, so let's do it. And here we have the star of the show, baking soda. To be more specific, sodium bicarbonate. The most interesting thing about this is that people use it for many different reasons. I mean, did you know that if you mix this in water, it is great for plants? Yes, it can be plant food. That is something I was not expecting. And believe it or not, it can also be a great deodorant. Yes, some people use it for that reason. That's crazy. But most of the people I know use it in the refrigerator. It keeps the bad odor out. And trust me, I have quite a few experiments I do. So that one I know it works. With all that being said, now that I have my beautiful steak, it's time to start this experiment. And since I have quite a few of steaks, I started by separating them in steak plates. And most importantly, so I do not confuse which steak is which, I also labeled every single one of them. This way we will make our experiment much easier and you will be able to follow every step. The very first one is gonna be the control. This one will have nothing but salt on it. You see, this is something I like to do that it's called dry brine. And even though it has a fancy name, it's very simple. You basically season your steak with salt, put it in the refrigerator overnight so that the salt can penetrate nicely and deeply into the meat. This also tenderizes the steak a little bit. And at least to me, it is the best method to have steaks. Now for the baking soda steak, I did the same exact thing. But instead of using salt, I only used baking soda. I also ensured sure that the steak was nicely covered, but at the same time without overdoing it. We don't want to put 15 pounds of baking soda on it. And like I always said, I did add it to both sides. As you can see, a nice thin layer is the way to go. Now the only thing left to do is to leave this one in the refrigerator for 4 hours. Now the very next one, we're gonna combine both things. And basically this is how it works. I first added the baking soda, then I threw in some salt. You know if you leave the steak for a while, moisture will come out because of the salt. However, now that moisture is gonna I mixed up with the baking soda and once that's done it will penetrate back into the steak. That is basically what osmosis is. Now is this gonna have a much better penetration than the baking soda by itself? Well we're gonna find out real soon because now the only thing left to do is to let this rest on my refrigerator for four hours. Once the time was up, I took out the control and take a look at this. This red color is a sign that the salt penetrated in the meat. And you can still see the osmosis process underneath. We know this works and that's why this one is the control. Here's the baking soda by itself. As you can clearly see, there's almost no sign of baking soda anymore. It also gave a nice red color to the steak. But most importantly, when I hold it in my hand, it feels soft. Yes, a little bit more tender. And it seemed like the fibers of the steak is separating. That is a wonderful thing. The only thing I have concern is the taste. I don't know about you, but I've tasted baking soda before and it does not taste that great. But that is to be determined real shortly. As you know, we still have this one left, the baking soda and salt. And as you can see, the salt did its job. However, you can clearly see a little bit of baking soda left. So it seems like it did not penetrate as much as the baking soda by itself. But surprisingly, this one feels even more tender. If I had to give a scale from one to 10, control would be zero. The previous one with baking soda only I would give it a 5, but this one I would give it an 8. It seems like this thing is working. Actually, it's working quite a bit. But now the next thing to do is to make sure I wash it all off. Hopefully this will take out that weird flavor from the baking soda. If you don't wash it off, I already know it's gonna be terrible. Because when I tell you baking soda tastes bad, it does. I made sure to rinse every single steak. And of course also pat it dry. As I'm doing this, I am totally aware that I'm also removing a little bit of the salt. And that's all good because the salt did its job. 
job, so I went ahead and re-seasoned both experimental steaks. The control one, however, there was no need for salt. To season them, I added in all of them a good amount of black pepper and garlic powder, because as you already know, that is my favorite seasoning. But now that we got them perfectly seasoned, the only thing left to do is to go ahead and cook them. And for that, I'll be first putting a beautiful sear on them using butter. Once that's done, I'll be cooking them in indirect heat until I reach an internal temperature of 135 degrees Fahrenheit. Once that's done, it's time to taste. So now I say it is enough talking and it is time to cook them, so let's do it. Before moving forward, I want to thank today's sponsor, Keeps. Since I started the channel, my nephew Angel has rocked 250,000 different types of hairstyles. And if he wants to keep that up and prevent hair loss, this advice is for him and you. Here's the deal, two out of three guys will experience some form of male pattern baldness by the time they're 35. And the best way to prevent hair loss is to be proactive. So Angel, you're going to need to do something while you still have that golden noodle mane going on. Keeps treatment typically takes between four to six months to see results, so it is important to act fast. The sooner you start using Keeps, the more hair you will save. So to find out why Keeps has more than five star reviews than any of its competitors, and why so many men trust Keeps for their hair loss prevention medication, don't wait everybody. Get easy access to hair loss treatment from home with an online doctor consultation, and you will get versions of the only two FDA approved hair loss product right to your door. If you are ready to take action and prevention against hair loss, go to Keeps.com slash Google Foods. Thanks Keeps for sponsoring Sponsoring this video, head to keeps.com slash Google Foods to get 50% of your first order of hair loss treatment. All right, everybody, here we have our beautiful steaks, Mama. Are you hungry? I'm starving. This thing smells amazing. <laughs> it does smell fantastic. We obviously have an experiment when you see three steaks like this. That goes what I'll say. You're, you're already used to it. I don't need to tell <laughs> that we have an experiment, everybody. That's what I love to do, everybody. I love to learn new things. And I'll tell you one thing. Every single experiment I do, even if it's a fail, I learn something new. Yep. You agree, Mama? I agree. Okay, so here's the deal. Today, we are testing tenderness. That's all I care about. Okay. And if there's an off flavor, because, well, I'm not gonna say anything, yes? Of course, there's <laughs> gonna be an off flavor. <laughs> Mau Mau is already sweating bullets, and I like it. Oh, okay, yeah, yeah. let's go for the very first one, okay? Okay. Oh, ooh. Oh, I even oh got a hiccup God. on that one. <laughs> wow. wow. Huh? That one felt like a shoe leather, my mom. Yes. <laughs> I see you even mm. went for a small piece. I'm huh, after you. No, I, I don't want to be here chewing gum for an hour. <laughs> Very first one. Cheers, everybody. Even though it was hard when I spoke it, it's not that bad. No, it's not that bad. It tastes amazing. Mm. But you still chewing? It feels soft when you chew, uh -huh. but it doesn't break apart. <laughs> so you have to keep chewing it and chewing it. Yes. And chewing it. And then a little bit more after that. The flavor is phenomenal, everybody. I would mm. say that this is oh, a very goodness. tasty steak. It's just, it's just tough. When you bite it it, it, it has a nice give. Yeah. It's just the fibers are not breaking apart. I agree. That's what you get when you eat an eye round, Mama. That's an eye round. Huh? <laughs> it's softer than the regular than the usual eye round. It is a little bit softer than the regular eye round, and that's probably because I dry brine it. You know what I mean? Every okay. time you dry brine it, it gives a little extra uh mm -hmm. uh and makes your steak better, everybody. I'm telling you, if you're not using the dry brine technique, do it. Let's go for the second one, Mama. 
So you probably can tell that that one is our control already. And you're still chewing. Now look at my mouth. <laughs> you're still chewing. So that's our control. If any other ones is more tender than that, I want to know. But most importantly, if there's a weird flavor, yeah? Okay. Cheers, okay. everybody. Huh. What do you think, Momo? Were these three from the same piece of meat? Same piece of meat, same roast. That one is weird because this one was soft when you chew, but the fibers didn't break it. Mm -hmm. That one is tougher when you chew, but the fibers break it easier. <laughs> mm. So you would say that it is more tender. It is more tender. I agree 100%. It is more tender, but I will say this. It has a different flavor. Can you tell? Yeah. It I'm not, not happy with this flavor. <laughs> That's why I asked if it was the same because it didn't taste like it the didn't same taste. Thing. Yeah, I'm not happy with this uh, little bit uh, different flavor. How mm. do you like it? It's not the best. It's not. I know. I would say this is a much more tender steak. But overall, I prefer to eat that one because the taste is better. I prefer chew a little bit more than uh, that flavor. You prefer chewing a tastier steak than a softer steak, exactly. I am yes. <laughs> <laughs> So that's what happened with this one. And if you ask if it is more tender. Absolutely. It is more tender. It is more tender. Yes, it is. Okay, this one here. You ready? All right. I mean, it's just, it feels weird, right? When you it, stab it, it feels it a little the, weird. <laughs> just so, so, so not tender, right? It's crazy. Very last one. Cheers, Cheers. everybody. Oh. More tender. But I can't. Do you feel that flavor or is it just me? I feel the flavor. You feel the flavor, right? Yeah. That flavor is weird, everybody. That's a weird flavor, man. Wow. I don't enjoy that flavor whatsoever. No, it takes the beefiness from the from the steak. Yeah, absolutely. That's what it is, everybody. If you ask me, does it work? Is it, it works. more tender, Mama? It is more tender. Absolutely. It is more tender. But I am going for the first one because yeah. the flavor of the first one is amazing. Mm -hmm. I was going to say this one feels like a mix of these two because this one is soft, but it doesn't break apart. That one breaks apart, but it's not that soft. That one is soft and breaks apart and it has a weird taste. I'm going to give you a fight. Damn, Mama, you're becoming a steak, I mean, I mean, a steak expert, everybody, because you're right on the money. Here's the deal. Mm. This is the baking soda experiment for tenderizing mm -hmm. i added a little bit of baking soda i know it sounds weird <laughs> but hey don't be alarmed because you know when you go to chinese restaurant and they make that uh you know chopped up beef uh, beef with broccoli and stuff yeah they always put a little bit so it's not like out of the ordinary yeah, no, no, no. you know we, what i mean we eat stuff with baking soda all the time yeah but hey guys it puts an off flavor to the steak man i'm telling you right now i do not enjoy that steak but in regards to does it work does it work it works it works it makes the steak more tender at the same time i will be going back for the first oh, one that first one is the best no first one oh my god it's chewy though mm -hmm. <laughs> it's like a it's chewing just, gum it's just a little bit more you're probably you losing like 10 more calories just by chewing with your mouth there you go <laughs> hey yeah, you gotta make up some way somehow it's you know what I mean? <laughs> maybe if you're gonna put a sauce on it mm, that's probably why like they do it in the chinese restaurants yeah yeah then it can cover the flavor of you the steak cover the flavor and you'll cover that too yeah, if you cover the flavor it will be good but if you're doing it as a steak for a tasting steak an amazing grilled steak it just doesn't work it doesn't work whatsoever but it does make the steak more tender let's be clear let's give it up where the credit is due yeah Mama? yeah it there does you work. go it does work anyway guys these are the results i hope you guys enjoyed this video if you do enjoy it make sure to give it a thumbs up if you're not a subscriber be sure to subscribe for future videos remember if you are interested in anything i use everything's always in the description down below thank you so much for watching and as you guys can see mama i enjoyed this one it tastes better it guys i much rather have a much more wonderful tasting steak than a you know a softer steak that tastes off mm. Look at my guys. Thank you for watching, and we'll see you on the next one. Take care, everybody. Bye bye.